Meeting the Board of Assessors for uh, October 4th. Call to order. President and present, uh, Russell French, Lee Whitcomb, George Forcier, and Clerk Lori Lucier. Okay. We have some two minutes. Has everybody read them? Oh, I have, yeah. Yeah, I didn't. Uh... Are we going to do one swooped motion or individuals? Yeah, do one motion. I move to accept the minutes for Wednesday, September 20th, the general minutes, as well as the minutes for the joint board uh, board meeting with the assessors and between SLISA, assessors and select board for classification hearing, and the minutes for September 6th meeting. As written. All right, we'll second that motion. Um, but, yeah. All right. All right. Okay. okay. Mail and invoices. With informational stuff that Lee had in the folder of things that came in, she would be able to explain what they are better than. One of them is the DLS thing. One DLS, of them. what's that one? Well, this is the, uh, if you remember at the town meeting, we had an article asking that we be um, allowed to go into the program where you can increase the amount of income eligibility for our low income exemption applicants. And this is the report that the state puts out to tell us exactly what numbers to use, uh, the percentage for the cost of living increase um, was two and a half percent that we can use uh, against our previous exemption amount. And they'll be publishing that every year. So that's all that that one was. And these are the qualifying income levels for various low income um, exemptions, whether it be the one for the community preservation fund surcharge or um, the regular 41C. And they actually have us divided into Franklin County now, in addition to all the ones for the rest of the state. So the low, very, they have extra low, very low income and low income categories uh, for each household size from one to eight people. So we have exactly that to look at and use as our reference. So these are the numbers generated by the Department of Revenue. <laughs> Yes, they get them us. from the federal um, indices. Mm -hmm. Something that is based on Franklin County. Yes. Our um, numbers for granting low income uh, tax breaks. Yes. Is is relative to Franklin County's income level yes. as opposed to say. You know, Right, or or, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Why is it not list I know. I mean, historically, Franklin County has been one of the poorest counties in the state. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, they do have Berkshire over here. Well, okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You might like to see that. Our figures are on the back. Okay, and then these are the uh, these two. Invoices. One is for our quarterly payment for tax map maintenance. We mm -hmm. pay quarterly instead of 
once a year. And then the other is for the updated residential cost handbook from Marshall and Swift. It's the smaller of the two books. Um, I'll motion, but they So moved. Okay, I'll second that, yeah. Okay. In favor. Aye. Aye. Just initial the top copy of each bill because the accountant has to have an actual, I'll do the second copy. The second copy is going to the client oh. or to, to the vendor. Sorry. That's all right. I don't think it really matters. Top copy then? Top, yep. Where are we my initials? It doesn't really matter. <laughs> all the accountant cares about is that the chair of the board signed the bill this schedule. Is. But when we, you know, it's good to have us verify that we saw it. So you want to see the chair's initials um, on that? No, up there. The next, yeah. This is just uh, that's for the accountant. That tells them he what has it. to have a uh, see the actual invoice. Right, he can't pay from a statement or anything like that. But the bill schedule tells them which accounts to take out, which accounts to apply payment to. This is the other copy. You don't need to sign that. This is a different vendor. There's two copies of each because the accountant keeps a copy and one copy goes to the vendor with the check. Right. That we're only signing one for our, our guy. Right. Mm -hmm. Not that he cares. No one else does it. Is there... No other boards do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he only cares that that front sheet is signed by the guy in charge. <laughs> Pays to be fastidious. Yes. This... So this uh, information relates to this stuff, right? Yes. State, state, state. Yes. Talking about how Right, they're increasing. Right, we don't have any applications for it yet, but um, our data is here to use. And I was very happy to see that come out. Yeah, I've been wondering when they do that every year. It will be, yes, from now on. Yes, well, they've done this every year the uh, lim, 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 income limits for uh, the community preservation fund surcharge exemption. Hmm. Oh, we got some land transfers. Anything special in there? There's sale or two and mostly transfer. No, this is, yeah, this is a, uh, you know, convenience to a family trust. This one is of interest. Uh, it, uh, oh, and this is, again, within the family. And most are within. Yes. Yeah, these this one is within the a splitting up family. What's the advantage? It must be some tax advantage to to transfer to a trust. Yes, it, you it, can you yeah. can protect the funds. There are a number of different types of trusts, but they can be used to establish when the five year date is as far as um, um, a nursing home or right. the state being able to reclaim your money. Yes, or somebody suing you. Yes. It also protects you from personal law. It right, because the trust owns it. You do not personally own it any longer. Yeah, this was a transfer that's, within the household. That's kind of the biggest one. Yeah. That and making it so nursing homes can't take it. Right. Mm -hmm. I'll just put the assessed values on these two that were actually say. Oh, this must be related to that. Ten minutes. Yeah, it runs a little piece of property next to it. Transactions are really no value to us in terms of um, well, in terms of establishing values because there's no right. Arm length sales okay. going on. Exactly. But do we have to change the record? We presumably change our records as to who technically owns the property? Oh, yes. Yep, I do that immediately. Whoops.
We've got a couple more over there. Yeah, but it's just putting the assessed values on these two that were actual. Um, okay, George, George. Market sales. <clears throat> Oh, that's a, a duplicate. That one's a duplicate of one of the ones there. Just stick it in the box behind you. Oh, right, of course. Oh, while well, we have a second, I'd like to step out of order. That's what I like to do. So you and, have a uh, picture on this one as well? No, no, just an initial. Oh, no. Right. I can't step out of <laughs> That's Russ's call, but other business. I'll come in on other business. So these are actual transactions? Yes. Oh, arm's length transactions. Arm's length transactions. Yep. And both came in at about 85% still. Really? Yeah. It's hard. Why does this say a single woman? You're supposed to uh, single woman, married woman, married couple. Yeah, because that defines how it was owned. And if anyone else has any ownership interest in it. If you owned it as a joint tenant with a, a sibling, oh, for example, yeah. mm -hmm. you could be selling just your share. I but, know. There's some things that are still very old school. That yes. I, I mean, I see a single person, perhaps. Yes, person, yes. But, like, why does the person's sex have anything to do with it? No, it has nothing to do with it. It's just the way, because it's, the deeds are identical to what they were 200, you know, 150 right. years. So this, is, this, this language is used by these people's lawyer. Yes. And it's, it's, a tem it's a template that's probably 50 years old. Yeah. All of that. Yeah, uh, yeah if not more. And yeah. they're just plugging in the change of names well, and address. It was my lawyer. Well, obviously it didn't bother her because yeah, she signed yeah. it. It's fine, but yeah. <laughs> I know some people it would. We were talking. I'm all set. There, I signed that one. Yes. Any more deeds? No. Okay. And uh, want to look at building permits. There are no new listings. So. I just start them. But presumably, when you go through these as the administrative assessor, yep. you look for things that would be worth an, an inspection. Or Absolutely. Otherwise, these to be yes incorporated into the tax card. Yes. None of which these seem to be. No, nothing. Substantially, yeah. Move the kitchen sink. Yeah. I was hoping for a remodel of the kitchen, maybe, but. And this is going to be a significant repair job. Many splits. Any splits at the elementary school or the grammar school? Mm -hmm. Perhaps in the offices. Mm -hmm. Some small specialty classrooms. There's a kitchen remodel. Good. Mm 
thousand dollars to do this. Uh... Yeah, that's structural work. Sorry, I was leaning on my hand and got hit with the skunk. Mm -hmm. I can't get it out of my pores. <laughs> that's poor Seamus. He was a secondary victim to a skunk attack. Yeah. Oh, um, are these people required to put down an estimated uh, value? On building permits, they are... Electrical ones. Yeah, electrical yes. and electrical plumbers. Electrical plumbers, and plumbers no. The solid waste, I don't think they have to. I mean, solid wood burning. Solid fuel, they don't. Yeah. Once in a while, they will. But never electrical, never plumbing. Mm -hmm. I wish they did. Yep. I think maybe it's considered to be part of a larger job. Uh, sometimes it, it, sometimes it's the only job. I know it. Often, not, often. Not. But it doesn't change any values to the property because it's maintenance generally. So, mm -hmm. you know, updating service. Yep, replacing the electric water heater. All right. And if it's something that's new, then it is part of a larger job. Mm -hmm. This one here is install a solid wood, solid fuel burning appliance. Mm -hmm. And that's due. Oh, there is an estimated cost on it. Yep. Yeah. Let's take a closer look at that because I don't believe that person has applied for the permit to the Board of Health. There's two of them here. So you might want to make a note. Yep. Same thing. And is this about a tent? Oh, someone had a function. That's the code side and two tents. Yes, I will have to mail them the requirements for the mm -hmm. local board and the applications. Oh, I mean, yeah, this one is a couple of these that we've seen are parts of this larger renovation. Hello, hi there. Come in. Are you doing your regular? Yes, yeah. You want to wait? Oh, um, let's finish the auto abatements and not start them. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, we can just wait. Is this the same person as that one with a different permit? That's an I. Looks like. No. What's my neighbor doing? <laughs> let's say we'll. That's we'll, Georgette's house. We'll bring the chairs around a little tighter. When, there's one. That's why I pulled this over as okay. high as I could. Oh, you can see well. Oh, I can see both of them. I mean, in the, 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 the owl. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes. Said these look like almost look like that. Uh, and they, and they might be. Interesting. Yeah. They might be. Oh, it isn't. No, it's two different people, but the same exact. Oh, thing. okay. I don't know. Sign that one. Oh, Do you right. mean to sign it? Oh, yes. This is also. This is. That's your paper one? Or is that me? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, hi. Again, huh? Today was beautiful. Yeah. Not gonna last. I know. Let's enjoy it while we can. Indian summer, I guess. Yeah. 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 50s next week. 50s next week. There's fallback. Hi. Hi. Yep. Yeah. 
George, do you know Carla Harlow? No, I love I it. I saw George Horse here. Hi, Carla nice Harlow. How are you? Pretty good. And you? Yeah. I'm holding out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got four motor vehicle abatements. Looks yep. like they've all been calculated and everything. Okay. You want to grant? That's a block. I have to second that. Are we going to vote on it? <laughs> Russ? Yes. Are we going to vote on that? All in favor. Aye. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yes, I just, it's just a sum issue. Yeah. We don't share that. <laughs> there you go. Nelson was chairman of the school building committee mm -hmm. 30 some odd years ago. Nelson Barnard was chairman of the school building committee 30 years ago when they built the new grammar school. Yeah, not a lot. Bottom throw in the bottom. Mm. Yep. Oh, good. I don't know if you've seen this spot before. This is for farm, and they can list because all of their vehicles that are used strictly in farming are exempt, so they can list more than one on an, on an application. Which is what they've done here. So we're actually granting two up two abatements, but on the one application. Two vehicles, two vehicles yes. Two vehicles. two vehicles. Hard to tell. Yeah. Okay. That's a low bed trailer, and this is a I need a horse carrier. Okay. Ahead, skip five and six. Mm -hmm. Someone has seconded. I'll second that. All in favor? Right. Okay. Okay. You want us up here? Mm -hmm. You're moving where? Where am I going? <laughs> <Right here. laughs> 
I'll turn this chair over. Okay. George Lusmith. Oh, where are you going? I'm staying right here. <laughs> we don't need him in between us. <laughs> oh, geez, George. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, me, we know you guys want to hold hands and play footsie snacks under the table. But... Oh, she might. I may have that. Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> but, uh, it's so loud. It was easy. Oh, goodness gracious. Just getting a seat is that difficult. <laughs> Okay, Russ is the chair for now. Okay. okay, so I had a few questions. Um, first one is we worked on figuring out how to it, when that was going to be posted about mm -hmm. the information we worked on to how to read property cards. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering when that could be posted. Um, I was trying to do a Zoom and that didn't work out. So we had worked on stuff to be posted on the website. Yeah. More as a, um, yeah. Uh, why are you looking at me? Oh, well, I'm not. I'm looking in your direction. <laughs> That's all I've faced that <laughs> pointed that way. Well, I, I guess because the bills will be coming out yes. shortly and it would yes. be a good they will. information to have. Yes, out. it will. And I'd like to have it ready, but right now my... I've entirely devoted, as I have been for the last eight weeks, to values and the getting the bills out. And so I'd say as soon as I, they go out, there'll be time to work on it. I thought we had it pretty much worked on. Well, we did. But I want I haven't actually taken the the shots to put onto the um, you know, the program, the I guess my concern is that um they're going to get your bills. People will get their bills and the information isn't on the website, how to read it. Mm -hmm. And that's what we were working on all last year. We were, we were working toward it. It was and a good idea and it still is. So it won't be done before the bill is. No, no. I mean, I, the bills I, are at the I question whether we'll even do it until we change the program. Why? Because it's going to change the cards. But still, you should be able to read the card. I mean, it, it's kind of going to be basic information on there. It might be a little different, but the information will be the same. And people can read them now. Or, and I think they'll be able to decipher new ones. I mean. You don't think the information on the card now is, is somewhat straightforward? No, you don't get much okay. information. You didn't find that to be the case, Carla? No. No. Okay. Well, the thing is, is nobody gets a picture of their card unless they come in and ask for it. And That's right. hardly anybody comes in and asks for it. So, But even when they I do, just, they don't know how to read it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You okay. said you put something together that was an attempt to explain. Yes, we had started yes. to do an explanation. Yeah. And as what to, would go on the website would be this this sort of verbal explanation. Basically a yes. PowerPoint yes. Uh, presentation. That that on the website where you push a button and it would no. kind of walk through automatically. Well, push a button. Yeah. yeah, you can choose it, choose it, and walk yourself through it at your own time. Yeah, hmm. it's an explanation. You know, pinpoint. And it incorporated like... screenshots of yes, of the yes. card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Different sections of the card and explaining what that section means. And yeah, because I was trying to put do a Zoom, and a lot of people had responded that they wanted to do a Zoom because then you could ask questions. I mean, a live event. Yeah, yeah, just a, you know. And um, but that didn't seem to work out. So I was very hesitant because it's easy to neglect to say something mm -hmm. or well, to have something misunderstood. That and you were in Florida taking care of your relatives. Well, a year ago, entire, yes. Yeah, but that's, that's when it was. That's when we were working on the I Zoom. Suppose, yeah. It's when you ended up having to leave town for seven weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we didn't even have the information together. We had it together later on. And... Has the PowerPoint been created? I mean, is it? Largely, yes. Mm -hmm. Can you do something like that? I have never used PowerPoint. Never, <laughs> made, never made a PowerPoint presentation. Sorry to say. Okay. Well, just do deal. things in, in uh -huh. person. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's all. I was because you mentioned yeah. that you were going to post it. Yes. It's an email to me in June, and I was wondering how comes it hadn't been posted. We've had troubles with the program again. And so continuing work on that has been 
had has taken precedence over almost everything. Mm -hmm. Yep. So having problems with the program again, how far are we progressed in getting a new program or getting that in place? We've got the money approved for it. Oh yes. Okay. So yeah, that was it then. But we can, yeah, but we can't start the conversion until after the, until tax, after the tax bills have, are, have been generated. I, I understand. Right. And have you decided that though? Because I haven't heard any discussion about the new program on it was on tonight's agenda. Oh, okay, good. I'd love to hear it. Because I watch all your meetings mm -hmm. online and I haven't heard any discussion about it. Then we were holding off until bills uh -huh. were more imminent. Yep. So um okay. So um and then I watched where you have a chapter sixty one A problem with uh, not being calculated correctly mm -hmm. last year. Another program problem. Because yeah, and in twenty two and twenty three, and we're going to be meeting with the tax collector and the town accountant. Uh, probably next week to sort over how exactly to manage to do that. Okay, because I watched your meeting and you voted to do some credits on the... Uh, no, that can't be done. Uh, I had thought that might be a possibility, but it isn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it will be a straight refund to those who want to deserve it. Was it just 61A? 61 and 61A, not B. Okay. And what was what was the rate that was different? Because you said, oh, um, how much of money is involved in the refund? The, the average, average is about was, $45. Yeah, the majority were under $50. Yeah. So how much does that add up to? To how many? Well, it's going to be several thousands of dollars. How many people are, or how many? Just property? about everyone who's in 61A or 61. Yeah, how many would of, that be? Uh, 125, 130, somewhere in there. So about an average of $50 each, mm -hmm. isn't that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Okay, because that's not what I got. That's not what I heard at the other information. Well, that was a very, that was our very first word about it. Mm -hmm. um, I hadn't even finished the entire analysis yet at that point, but I wanted to bring the problem forward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I hadn't heard anything else about mm -hmm. it, so I was just well. Wondering. That's waited until we uh, get the tax, get the tax collectors. Yeah, until we get the facts, and the collector asked that we wait, and, and the accountant asked that we wait and do it after uh, the recap was approved. Mm -hmm. So we'd have plenty of funds in the overlay to cover it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what was my uh, the effect of your bill? Ah, what about the yeah. Yeah, my other question was, what have uh, you done about the effective years in adjusting them? They're going to be adjusted before the conversion. But what about for this bill? For this bill, they weren't significantly changed. It wasn't time to do it. But we saw problems, and we saw that the program was not adjusting them. Mm -hmm. You, As assessors, you had to go in and do them all. We didn't like that. No. Did you no. look at them and adjust any? No, we didn't because we decided to wait and do it so carefully are, yeah. in, in our work to prepare the data for conversion. It's I going just, to involve looking at each I I account. know it is. And it, there's been several years where they're not accurate now. Mm -hmm. Because when you converted in 2021... Correct? Yes. Yeah. They got all jumbled up, correct? The effective not, years. Not all jumbled up. But a there couple would, of them seem to have, yes. But, more than uh, a couple, but yes. So my pro my question is, so there's errors where they got mixed up, right? And you haven't looked at them for two years to straighten them out. So people aren't being assessed appropriately. Appropriately. The values are coming in appropriately. Well, they can't be coming in appropriately if they're within. Well, it's going to be done in preparation for the conversion. But so that we can all sit down together with the graph, with the chart, and do it and make sure each one is correct. I understand. That's what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. But for this bill, 
they're not accurate. So this bill is the same as they've been before. For the last three years, they're not accurate. The the same as they've been. Right, but there's been accurate or not accurate. Correct. So you're saying they're not accurate, but it's, it's still, still the same. Not all of them are not accurate. We would encourage anyone who's concerned about it to come in, just as we always have. Mm -hmm. Review their property record card with us. Uh, look at the effective age. Mm -hmm. We'll see whether it's on or off the mark. Mm -hmm. And are you still going by the chart of um, that we were looking at last? Yes. You're still I, going by that chart. That's what I propose to go by, yes. Okay. Bring it, you know, I fill in the years since then and mm -hmm. uh, follow yeah. that. You're still that lead. You're following that, okay. And the new program has that. Yeah. Yes, awesome. it has a chart in it. We'll, we probably will look at that and see how they compare mm -hmm. and do a few what ifs with different so, properties so, that have sold and see if that happens to bring it in closer. Isn't the new program like the old camera and it does it automatically? Yes. So you don't have to look at the chart and calculate it No, yourself, but we can look at the chart and see if we agree with its with its uh, degrees of depreciation based on effective age. So let me just bump in here for yeah. a minute. This is a great situation where even if anybody comes in to get their property card, they don't understand. I would say they would, don't, most of the people wouldn't understand what the effective year and how that affects their assessment and their bill. That's one of the. So that would be great if it was up on the. Uh, on Why the don't website. you post that what the effective year should be and people can look at their property cards and know if it's accurate or not. And then they could put in for an abatement. Why don't I just put the chart out? Yeah. Instead of going through each one and saying this should be your effective age. Oh, well, I didn't say go through each one. I'm oh. saying post the chart so people yes. could look and say uh, if their pro and pull their property card and say, is it accurate? Because I'm also they can wondering... pull their property record card easily enough for online. But you don't no one know. has to come in here. They can do it from our GIS site. So then they could do that. And yes, if the chart was available on that... our assessor's website, they could check it. Is that up to date? Because I noticed that it wasn't always up to date when I looked before. Well, we were working on a couple of things today on it. Okay, I don't know, but I noticed it wasn't always up to date. Oh, I think Laurie tries very hard to keep so. What? What part of it was the website or the GIS? The GIS. Oh, the GIS. Oh, GIS. GIS. GIS is, that it, always it's runs up, well, a year, the, year and a half behind anyway. Right, because well, then, the yeah. the the surveys, when people survey the property and change boundaries or split property, those are updated annually. annually. So, yep, along with any other changes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. But it goes, it, it looks to last year's, the last year's approved values on um, to show what values are on the property record card. So it should be reading 24s, uh, 23s. Oh, okay. 24 just got. Well, 24 is not done. No, it's approved, but, but it's not done. Oh, right. bill's not printed yet. Okay, the so I mean, George approved. is new and I understand that, but and do you understand what the effective year and how they, because I, I listened to your discussion on effective years on some mm -hmm. re new site visits mm -hmm. and you had a, weren't quite sure about the effective year and you were saying how it should be how you thought it should be valued there is a chart as to how to value them and i'm wondering if you're aware of that and have seen it oh i'm constantly asking questions because everything's I know so new to me yeah but have you seen the chart no probably not yet and we hadn't gotten into that part of the discussion more deeply so i guess when you signed the new um, values that went out, mm -hmm. did you even look up those over? I saw that you just looked at your, mm, what do you want to do? Where you, what would that be? Where you gave the overview of it. So the recap. Yes. Did you look at, I mean, did you as a board go through any of it and look and make sure they're accurate? Oh, Any ones that were changed, yes, yes. 
but does he look at our effective years and all that? Yes, yeah. He reviews that. He reviews it, yes. He reviews the chart. And then he'll pull a um, random selection. Okay. And then he makes his recommendation whether we... Need oh, well, whether you raise it, how much to raise it. I get that. I understand yeah. that. But the point is, when <laughs> I looked at the charts from the previous year, and I tried to point out the fact that they were all over the place, nothing got adjusted. So they're still not adjusted. When we found out, we had to do it as a board to change them. And I'm just wondering, you didn't look at those again at all. Not everyone, no. But isn't that your job to make it as the assessors to do that? It's going to be done for the conversion. I understand. There that. hasn't been time. There hasn't been. I, I understand that, but there's a how lot. Many, of... How many in town would be that you would have to look at? Well, you should well, have to look, look at all, look at all the houses. houses. Right, oh. and there's thousands. Well, there's, there's still, like, what, 13, 1,400? Well, the, that's the number of parcels. We probably have 875, 900. Mm -hmm. But when I looked at the chart, it was fairly easy to see if the years, they were in the year in order, mm -hmm. in the grade. It's an easy chart to read. It, in the grade in order. And if you could tell, I mean, it was easy enough to look at and change. So I'm just wondering why it wasn't done in a way. Yes, and some have to be you can take it into, you know, you have to consider, but wait a minute, that house includes a big addition that was put on. So is that, does that one need a little bit more thought than just, some are very straightforward that way, yes. But there's three of you here. Why can't you just uh, delegate so many to Russ or? Well, George is too George. new. Right at the moment, we've been okay. having some training sessions. And we know where Russ is all day. And Russ is well, unable to come during the working day. But that's what you're on the board to do, to do these things, yeah. to correct <laughs> assessments, to make sure we're being assessed properly. That's why you want to be on this board to do it and not say, well, I don't have time. And that's one of the reasons why we hire Roy to help us with some of those details. But he didn't correct any of them, did he? I don't recall it was a number of weeks ago. Well, when I, I was, I think, well, I when know. I was on the board last year, they didn't get corrected, and he must have looked at them. You said he looks mm -hmm. at them every year, mm -hmm. and they were nothing was corrected then. So this is the second year that I know of that nothing's been okay. actually looked at and corrected. And the we looked at the ones that we have done site visits on. Mm -hmm. Okay. But that hasn't been, and from what I gather, because I was here last year, is you're supposed to be doing 80, approximately 80 houses site visits every year. We have, right, a 10 year cycle. Mm -hmm. And you didn't do two years during the pandemic. Right. We didn't do it last year when I was here. We just did new growth. And so it's already been decided. We discussed it at an earlier meeting that. The site visits are starting up again this month. True. So you almost have to do 240 this year to get caught up. Well, we can spread that out over several years. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, but my concern is, so people in town should know that nothing's been accurately assessed after the conversion. That's... Well, some of them, I mean, not all of them, but there are some that are not done accurately. That's possible. And you've made the point. Okay. So, but how does someone go in here, come in and uh, get theirs corrected? Or looked at it? They always do. They come in and they talk to us about it. And if I'm here, then we bring it to the board and. Mm -hmm. Because I, I filed for an abatement and mine was not corrected. And I'm just wondering how come then? This was not corrected. Well, if I look at your chart, my effective year would be a lot lower than it is. I have the chart that you're supposed to be going by. So I'm just wondering how you're correcting them. Well, now you're, you're asking about your own specific property. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. not yeah. in general. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Okay. Because you're saying that it, if we brought them in, they were corrected. My house was built in 1979. At any time during the five abatements we did on her property, was the effective year discussed? But do um, I have to bring up? No, that I'm, I'm asking her, not you. If it was discussed, if it was part of, I wasn't here for these, so I'm asking if it was something that was discussed during any of those meetings. I would guess that it was because we seem to have gone over every single possible detail. But so if I'm looking at this chart, I should be at 1985. Do you want to see it? No, I'm sorry. You, that's what you're saying. You're looking at the chart. And it's at 1995. So. Why are you saying it should be 85 just because it's on the chart? Yeah. yeah if it's my, my house was changed from good to average. And if you go by average in the year and all that, it should be 85. And not knowing and just like I didn't know when I first started the abatement that it, what effective years were supposed to be, you don't know. So how do people come in with a question about their abatements or their property assessments and not have this chart? And we're going to put it on the website. I know, but I came in here and you didn't correct that. Mine. So do you correct it now? Certainly would be one of the things that we look at. We always, I mean, we- Well, we made abatements, so I'm assuming that- Yes. Yeah. Yes, what? That we, that we looked at it when we made the abatements. So why wasn't it done to the charts? Because I'm abated at 1995. When was that abatement done? I remember for 21, most of them. Or no, 22. 21, 22. Yeah. 21, 22. When was the abatement processed? 22. Yes, two years ago. Yeah. Two years ago. Yes. Yeah, there's and a at that one. time, they missed this effective date. Yes, issue. because I didn't know about it. I didn't know about this chart. Right. So you didn't raise it. Right. So I didn't know enough to say, well, that's the wrong effective year because mm -hmm. I had no information to right. be able to go by that. Which nobody does. Which nobody did. And that's the problem when you come yeah. in. If you don't have this information, you can't say, well, geez, that doesn't seem right. Right. So the solution in your case here would seem to be to file yet another abatement request. No. Make, yeah, this, no. make this fix. No, we can't do that. No. Carla's was corrected. Mm -hmm. It was a corrected, but it's, we're going to discuss it was corrected for the year 2024, not for the year of well, abatement, right? I think that's what it is. Well, if you can't fix your specific problem, you certainly have made the point in general. Yes. Well, I would like mine corrected. <laughs> well, so, that's what I just said. Can it, can it would be an, another abatement? Yeah. So you file another application for an abatement and presumably mm -hmm. specifically targeting that question. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm asking. Because you're the board. Yeah. Well, being the junior guy on the board, yeah. it seems to me yeah. that you're, what you're getting at is A, that the board's not on top of this issue. And no. B, in your specific case, mm -hmm. you'd like some kind of abatement with, with respect. To I, the I can't get an abatement. I would like it corrected moving forward to 2024. On mm -hmm. your card. Could we do that for the yeah. new bill? Correct. Well, not on this bill that's coming out. Because it's already been, days, it's, it's already, already gone. Been that's the one you would have to do an abatement on, is the bill yes. that you're going to get in about a week or so. That's okay. right. Sure. Because they're already gone, we can't change it now, because they've already been sent out to the Okay. But to answer your question, yes, we can change it for the next cycle. Of course. Cycle. Yeah. Okay. Yep, future cycles. Mm-hmm. Okay, I guess I, yeah, I made my me. point about the effective year. Yeah. People need to come in, pull their cards, have this information. Mm -hmm. They can pull their card right off the website. But so and are you going to post that this? Will, that can get posted on the website, yes. That is probably going to be adjusted some before we move forward 
well, uh, into the conversion. Yes. Yes, I understand but that. But that you're is, following that. That's been our reference now in the past. Yes. Okay. So that's good to know. Okay. I think that was my my question. I don't know if I know. Okay. Carla? Okay. That's um yeah. Um why do I feel like a pinata? <laughs> Why? Why do I feel like a pinata? I don't know. Why do you feel know. that way? <laughs> what does that mean? Pinata, you know those little. I those, know what it uh, means. Uh, what the people <laughs> whack with sticks? <laughs> you feel like we're whacking you? Well, not me in particular. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, so it was on my abatement that I got or filed for. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't think it was correct. Um, and again, I I don't I don't as you know I, I mean the abatement I don't know how to read the the, the um, property card, and there's mm -hmm. not much there's not much as self explanatory on it for the layperson to know what's going on. That's true. It would have to be five cards, probably, if they wanted to do that. What do you mean? But I mean, it would, it would, as it is, they put quite a lot of information on one card, right? If, if it was to be annotated, right? You know, we it would well, probably but be three cards for the card. Sounds like I'm going to grab the minutes from the right. that she was here and all this was Good. reviewed. So, anyways, I they, have them if you want. No, I think yes. okay. those current cards, by the way, the ones that the Tyler software. Um, Significantly different than the ones from the software before. Yes, yes, and they will be for the ones after. Yes, the software before really laid out the cost ladder beautifully. You know, it said, you know, base cost X number of square feet of house at this mm -hmm. basement, so many square feet at this price. And yeah. This yeah, and that's what number of bathrooms. This one. Oh, yes, number of bathrooms. Number. It's hard to. It's I mean, you get a lump out. sum and you have no idea what it is. That's right, and it's like. Yeah. And it's and yet the title software was approved by the, the state BOR, so they didn't have any huge yeah. problems mm -hmm. with it, unfortunately. They felt it was the best of a the best, I guess. I'm sorry to mean to interrupt. I'm That's all right. Trying to figure out if it's a problem mm -hmm. with the tax forms when it goes back. Oh the previous mm -hmm. software. No. no, not really, I don't think. No, they were very clear. Or it was very easy okay. for us to see how okay. it was calculated. You do want me to help you because yeah, I, I think that she's totally confused. <laughs> yeah. What, what do you feel is incorrect about it? Huh? Well, I think because the card, when we you guys voted, we decided on the effective year of 1990. Okay? Yeah. And then when she got the abatement, the card read 1995. And the abatement and that was corrected. That was for, it was corrected, but there wasn't any financial numbers or anything. No correct. Of course, there's a change. There's got to be a change. Five well, years. If, if I'm looking at the, the card that was for 1990, it's different than when it was printed for 1995. Okay. Which that makes sense. The effective year changes the value. Let's get the minutes. Oh, the, the minutes aren't going to be, it, it's not, I'd have to pull the recording so you could see all the time you spent looking at the proxy court and talking about it and going over it and explaining things. You were explaining things. I mean, you guys spent a lot of time yeah. at her abatement meeting. It was basically, I mean, it's just, you agreed to change the depreciation on the porch. You agreed to change the um, effective date. You agreed. To 1990. Mm-hmm. But it didn't get changed to 1990. So when, when the abatement so when you changed did, going forward, right? But the abatement it didn't got get changed on the abatement year. I know right. No, no. Yeah. and yeah. that's what Carla came in and came in on your meeting and says it's not correct. So no, it, it got abated for 1995 effective right. year, right? Mm -hmm. And not 1990, right? Right. So well, let's look back at the recordings. Well, well, it was 
No, I, 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 I mean, we agreed to, we agreed to change. You're not going to do that now. I don't know. Well, I've got your signed signatures on 1990 mm -hmm. and the value. Mm -hmm. And when it was abated, it went back to, it went to 1995. Well, which year are we talking about? Which tax year? Last year. Last year. Okay. So this has so been... you're saying last year after an abatement hearing or after a... Yeah. She filed for an abatement. Yeah. Right. Got the effective year changed. Well, we voted on it. Eventually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And and the taxes that the tax bill that came out after that? No. No. No, no. No. It, it's, so you want she, to go she's saying she's saying that on the abatement we did not take into consideration the difference it would be to have changed the effective year right. back five years. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Right. Yes, I got I got it was signed to go to 1990. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The abatement was done. But it didn't it didn't use 1990, it used 1995. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So we'll have to figure out the few dollars of the difference and process another abatement. Well, it's more than a few dollars. I didn't say two. I said few. I know. Yeah. I said, and I just said it's more than a few. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, that the, the only popular. detail that was that was not corrected in the abatement application process. Well, no. I mean, no, this is several others. This has been a whole year long. Yeah, but this was the the effective year. Is the only yes. Error. Basically, the, only error. the last one. Yes. yes. <laughs> the last yes. error. Yes. Yes. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, did we actually figure on 95 or did we figure on 90 and just not change the card? No. No, the card was changed. Okay, Russ, do you want me to show you? Well, I have the information. No, that's, that's... I mean, the reason I asked the question was I wanted to make sure if you're going to be filing another abatement yeah. that we get all the loose ends. No, mm -hmm. no. No, her 2024 clearly hits 1990. Right. But is that from the value from 23 brought, brought forward? And that's the right. question. If it's not assessed value in 23, it's not going to be brought forward in 24. So it has to be corrected, corrected now or the value for 24 is not going to be right. 20, 24 is 1990. It says it. Yeah, it's, it's right. Yeah. Right. Right. Yes, but the thing is, is the assessment was for 95. Okay? On 2023, that, that's, but 2024 is assessed at 1990. Okay. But has, have any of the numbers changed for mm -hmm. this one? Well, they've gone up. Every, okay. yeah, everyone yeah. went up 10%. Okay. Yeah, they went up. Right. Well, actually, they didn't go up. Let's see. That's a, that would have been the... Next next year from 22 to 23 was the eight percent and 23 to 24 is 10 percent is 10 percent yeah but would it have been the at the 10 percent added on to this one already basically it would have been on the one that i mailed her last month yeah. that would have been this one yeah, so the the 10 percent is it, already there okay okay that yeah that is already there okay and that's 1990 yes right right but the problem is when you figured the abatement the last abatement you voted 1990. Okay. Yes. The abatement was figured on 1995. So it didn't get the actual amount of abat abatement. How can you tell that, by the way? Oh, it it's on the property value. value. So this is right. as abated. It says 1995. Oh, okay. And this is what they voted on, and the values are different. So the value was 226. Now they voted, signed, 1990, and the value is here, not 226. Right. Okay. So, now if I hadn't come That's in good. and checked on that, then that would have gone slid by. Effective age is 1990. Right, we know that. That's yeah. not the question. And the no, question is, it was abated incorrectly. The, the 2023 right. taxes the were year. abated yeah. incorrectly. Right. Yeah. And well, the old fixed. year was 2000. No. <laughs> well, yeah, it was no. originally. The effective year. We didn't. They we changed. Change, we changed they voted, the drawings. Yes. They voted. We changed the measurements. Yes. So we didn't change the effective year. year. And the abatement that was processed. Right. Correct. Right. 
Yeah, we didn't change the effective year for 2023. You you changed the drawings, you removed, you removed the two sheds, you removed yes. the little step, you changed some measurements, you sure. changed the depreciation sure. value, but it you says missed that, changing oh, the effective year. No, what do you mean 24? This no, is the, no, this, this is still 24 card. We don't know about the 24 no, card. No, 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 no. I know. That's I not the 24 card. Oh, gotcha. No, this is I was mistaken as to this which is the year one. that was. I, I don't worry about it. Okay. This is the one we anything. you when we had the meeting. Yes. You voted on it and you signed it to 1990. And the yeah. value you decided on was going to be 220. So, Lee, what we need to do is yeah. we need do to go back to 2023 and bit? change the drawing again and change the no. fiscal mm -hmm. change. We need to go back to 2023, change that drawing to get rid of the sheds. And the step. This is the, actually the 2023. Yes. Yes. And it says 1990 on it. Right. But this is what you, this uh, abatement was done on. I had to, I had to work on the 2024 format in order to do this. But I know. The 10 percent were added. But you put it in at 1995 for the abatement. And this is the one that says, keep this. These were done the same day. We must have looked at both of them. We said, keep this one because it has 1990. I know. But the point is, the abatement was done on 95. We're only going to know if we redo it. Not if we kept that. Leaf. No, it wasn't. Figure we're only going to know if we redo it. Yeah, let's we're we're going to have to sit down and change the drawings again, yeah. make sure the depreciation is still at 40%, mm -hmm. and make sure the effective year is 1990, pull the value, do the calculation. Yes. That's the only way we're going to know for yep. sure. Yep. Is if we go through the abatement process from scratch with 1990 and compare it to what we did, what mm -hmm. we sent. No, I'm willing to do that, certainly. Well, it's it's kind of obvious to do. If you start out at this amount, this is the original bill. Yeah, I think you're, you're, you don't know, you don't know how to accept the yes. Exactly. We just said, well, okay. said yes. yes. She's going to <laughs> do the math, we'll stop here. And, and come up, presumably come up with a different number for Carla. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, and Carla, I will make sure you get a detailed breakdown of oh, everything good. that was done. Good. Okay. And oh, my uh, other question is just do you well, mind waiting till these tax bills are finalized and in the mail? Because if we stop, okay. If we stop yeah. working on the tax bills, it's going to delay the tax bills a few weeks. I can't stop waiting for it. We got to finish bills. the tax bills. <laughs> so it'll be about. It's bad as it'll be a, Do we want? It'll do be, we all want to get paid or not? It'll be a week. Yeah, do we it'll be a week before we can do it. Okay, so if you're going to hold me off another week, am I going to get eight percent interest on that next week? That's between you and the tax collector. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no the interest, interest, interest is not based on your application date or the date the abatement was done. It's based on the date your final payment, your your final bill was due. Yes, and yes, they're not so figuring that. That's set up with the, the tax, tax collector. collector. But I think you guys should make sure that it's all done. We it's, don't have anything to do with the interest and how she calculates it. That's all the that's tax a process and how we so can, can you print that out for me when it's supposed to be? Uh, I understand. It, it's either, but then, it's either I had the day a problem you made your telling her that or the day the you're bill even supposed to be due, given the 8%. The they weren't doing and it. And that's when the calculation date And that's right. state guidelines, 8% interest. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and uh, Absolutely. there's a dollar forty. She something. gave me a hard time. dollar forty nine cents. With is calculating it, it or anything else. But wouldn't you? And maybe she doesn't know. I think she's always happy to do that. When you gave the abatement. She will. She's good like that. But shouldn't you make sure they're doing it from the top? At least let them know that it's from the time that the bill. It's time. It it's when your the due date, the due Correct. date of the bill. Correct. Mm -hmm. And Jan said she calculated from the due date of the final bill, which is June something, until okay. I what her formula is and how she calculated that is on her. Because it was a two hundred and it dollar. She will, I'm sure she will show Carla the formula. I'm sure she's more than happy to show it to her. <laughs> well, I, for did, a I did have and, no idea how you get a dollar interest. Well, you'll have to again, tax collector. <laughs> we will. We will. <laughs> well, I, did, I just like to make sure that as a, 
a group that you oh, make we sure. that, say that's is through the interest. And she the has the formulas the and the calculations to do okay. it. Okay. But my only thought is she thinks she they're doing it from the date you signed the abatement. No, she's the one who told me that it's the date the final payment was due. Okay. Okay. She, that came from her. Then maybe someone did it in the office and didn't do it right. Yeah. Well, you'd have to ask her what the calculations were. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I I know Jan well enough that she'd be happy to go over them. I'm sure she would. Okay, those are yours. Yeah. So now we're waiting for the oh, okay. calculation mm -hmm. to do my abatement over again. Yeah, give okay. us a week. Give us a week so we can okay. get make sure the tax bills are in the mail. Okay. Because we don't want to hold up the entire town's tax bills for. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. So do I have to come in and get another abatement on this tax bill since it's already going to be sent with out? Carla. Oh, on the new tax bill? Yeah. That's 1990. That That's not what that's we already, do. Already yeah, that's already done. got your correct year. Okay. And your values are based on, you know, <clears throat> that shouldn't, what happened? So we just have to tweak the abatement you got, but going yes. forward, you're okay. okay. Yes. 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 Okay. I don't know. The tax bill you're going to get is it's going based to on be 1990. Based right. on 1990, right. it's going to be up 10%. Mm -hmm. Right. But it's got that. You but, know, it's more I don't know. I, I guess I'm trying to understand this. If the if, if that effective year goes to 1990, shouldn't the assessment be different? Yes. And money wise and, and about valuation wise, I guess. Yes. Different from, but it'll be hard to see because it, that's not the only change that's happened from past year to the coming year. Right, because property values across the board were raised ten percent. Right, right. But the so twenty twenty four is already the value is already based on the nineteen ninety. Yeah. Mm. So it's our it made the change in twenty twenty four. But it's going to be hard for her to see the difference when she compares right, to past right. years because oh. so much has, has changed. Well, no, because when she gets the new one with the the nineteen ninety values, you figure ten percent more than that. Right. 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 Okay. Yeah. Roughly. Okay. You know, I, yeah. I know there's it, a range. It varies between there's a range. Eight and a half and eleven and a half. But yeah. let me speak to George about what really happened here. <laughs> this is what came up on um I got my property tax card because I came down and pulled it and was looking at it, and I had a whole sideway sidewalk that they were calling well, they were calling a terrace, which it was just a regular sidewalk. So they were assessing me on it. Well, it was they part, are, yeah, in the part and back we were calling a terrace too, yeah, and I believe that's because it's what five foot wide, six foot wide, so well, it's big enough to be a terrace. No, it's it's not that. It's four feet. No, well, anyways, 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 yeah. anyways. But, but you came in, you saw some things that didn't, you didn't yeah, feel so, right, and you right, right, took care yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. 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 My, my wife and I came in here ten years ago or something, and we did the same thing. You know, yeah. We looked at our values and things and said, mm, this doesn't seem quite right. So I understand the yeah, the, yeah. the desire to want to get things straight. Right. But um I, I just anyways, I just think if when they when they put something on the bill, the uh owner should be notified, I think, of something there. Because not everybody pull, comes and pulls their card every year or whatever. And then when we change something? Yeah, when you change something. Like that was a new change on the property card mm -hmm. that they were charged or assessing. We talked about that last year. Yeah, yeah. we did. We yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah. And you did it when you took it off. You sent me a new property card. And it card. also set new precedents going forward, if you remember. Right, right. But I'm, I, I'm just looking at the big picture. Not everybody gets that. Mm -hmm. You know, not everybody does. And it's, I don't, I just think everybody should. So the more information you have, the better off you are. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, I used to be in the information business, so I certainly can appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. So have you passed the whole course? I'm just wondering. 101? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, way back. Oh, you passed? Oh, you did. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Actually, the board, he came to your first meeting. Yes, he did. Uh, like yeah, I did week. the same thing in Boy Scouts. You know. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> read the whole manual before I went to my first yeah. meeting. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Me and Russ went to the What's New in Municipal Law Seminar this year. Yeah. So that was good. Oh, cool. Yeah. Nice. Um, I guess that's all I needed to do. Okay. Okay.
So you'll be in touch with them. Absolutely. Oh, I want to hear the, your discussion on the new one. Unless you'd rather. Unless you'd rather. We've got all these designs. This we got to get going. Yes. Oh, oh those are the chapters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is this week's third bad and third. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So we won't be. Oh, but you are version. discussing afterwards about yes. the. Um, yes, it is on the agenda. Okay. It just got pushed further down the agenda. Mm -hmm. Do you want to listen to that? I don't care. <laughs> it won't be a long discussion. Okay. All right. All right. It's always interesting to hear what's going on in town. You can have an opinion since you're here. Oh, okay. And if you guys are doing that, then I'm going to take a restroom break. I don't need to sign anything. <laughs> okay. A lot of them. Have we got anything here other than yeah. George's? No, mine was, mine was already stuff. done. You know, I did the wires like this, so we, we, we don't have any of Russ's oh, in there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Lori, we don't what? have Russ's in there, do we? In here that, uh, we, got, <laughs> we I got George's and we got I think it was yours last time. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Or so I know he's in the least last time, but even none if, that are board members. Even if, yeah, I don't know. I do, I'm not sure. I think right. we we have yours here too, unless you have other yes. properties. To, no. I mean, you can always oh. say oh. And you can always say I minus mine. No, that's right. And for the record, and for the public who might be listening, the state recently passed a legislation that the chapter. Applications are now due on or before December 1st. We found out about that after we had mailed out the uh, applications with their cover letter. Sorry. So people are being very good about getting them in for October 1st, but you do have until December 1st this year and in future. Oh, yeah. People have to vote on those. They will. People and I will have to vote on these. And yours, okay. you, think, you think you've done our, we've done yours already? Yes, because I already got the letter back. So I, I just have, because they changed the date, the state did. Yes. So how will that affect the bill? Oh, because this is. This it's is always a year ahead. So is this for 24 or 25? 25. Okay, 25. yeah. Right. Okay. These applications are for 25. Right, that's right. Uh, chapter land. So oh, okay. I move. That we accept the 30 applications that we have here in total with appropriate care taken that uh, Russ does not have anything to do with processing his, and George has nothing to do with processing his. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Shall we start in? I uh, guess. <laughs> These have all been on a stack to start it. Right. So you and George sign those and we'll put them aside. Yes. And where is the one that this is his? I have, okay, you and I this have to his, sign right. that one. Yes. Is that you? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Hmm? So who made the motion and who seconded? Mm -hmm. I made, made the mo motion. I made it. Russ seconded. You made it. Russ seconded. Mm -hmm. Second, yes. And I assume it passed because you're all signed. Yes. This <laughs> doesn't need signature. Doesn't really support any information on this one. That's right. It needs Russ's signature at the bottom. Ah, uh, signed by Chairman. Mm -hmm. Oh, was that the? Uh... Yeah. yeah. Okay. New forest cutting. Oh, sure. 
That's what this is. If this born through stuff, so it's forestry plan. Oh, yeah, sure. It's sure. Yeah, that can just go into a separate paper. pile for now. How many pieces of paper do these have? Oh, some have a quite a few. Either, you know? It's just another piece that goes oh, with yeah. that. Yes, those they come through with a great deal of paperwork. Uh, you can bring that up. So. Yeah. George only had one. Yeah. Well, I know. Yes. Okay. So I already gave that to you. All right. I'm going to leave this here for a second. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot of big property on there from time. These are all done. Yeah, no, my so it, yeah. Right. Well, we need five. Yeah. I lost my glasses. I'm walking around blind. Oh, you want some readers? I that's what these are. And I didn't. Oh, for two weeks before I can get glasses. Getting my eyes done was the best thing I ever did. Oh, would you have done? Did you have to lace it? I had. I, I had it done. Oh God! I know. Would you still need like readers? Like I don't know. Oh really? I don't need any French. Oh, I don't need any. I, don't need I haven't done. I, okay. I want to see right. the picture though. Maybe I. Yeah. More of the joint. Before I started here. Yeah. And but my glasses were so thick they were actually bruising my nose because they were so <laughs> heavy. Yeah. I was blind. <laughs> did you like stick them? That's very detailed. I did. Oh, really? I did. And but um, yeah. I went a step further, oh, and I had lenses? I had a lens in, implanted oh, in the okay. side. Yeah. And it works for your close-up vision. Okay. It yeah. works for reading. And what it does is that it's a little black lens and it pulls the light in to like a pinpoint and it just makes close-up reading. So, so, so that's in one eye. Huh? Is that in one eye only? Yeah. yeah. So your brain has to adjust to that. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't. Mm -hmm. it didn't. Because you know, um, I've heard people say they put a close up lens in. There. I've done that. I did that with contact lenses and that took adjustment. Yeah. But this, it, it, does, it doesn't work like a glass or a contact. It's just a black lens with a pinpoint hole. And it's just the way it makes your eye focus through that hole. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yes. yes. It was like the best thing I ever did. Did the insurance cover it? No. Where did you have it then? Oh, Nancy Bidding and Data. I wouldn't where, let her. She's in Florence. I wouldn't yeah. let any other eye doctor do surgery on me. It's yeah. a little scary. Yeah, but she's she's been doing it for. She's like the forerunner and oh, yeah. LASIK. She's very very good. Mm -hmm. But best thing ever. I was talking. We were just saying that would be. Yeah, yeah. it yeah. it it really was, yeah. and it's been five or six years, and I still have um twenty twenty five vision. Mm -hmm. So. But that can change as you get older. It can. Yeah. It can. But so I mean, I've, need I've made it anymore. this far and I'm old and I still don't. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think as long as I have this lens, I'll never need readers. It'll be more likely I'll need something for distance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because of that thing. Yeah. That's cool. I hadn't heard of that. That's cool. It, it was new when I had it done. Yeah. Um, without the discount that I got. How come you said it just got? Oh, um, clients that 
they would phone me. Or yeah. They would be work back and forth. Okay. So the Ohio we were just like I had yeah. um, one of the clients on the spa, and we were all able to go get bagels yeah. for free. Yeah. Yeah. So I was able to get a discount. For the lace, it would have been four thousand. Here you can sign Maybe this one for that. That's a list. Yeah, okay. Would be just the one. Yeah. That's about right. I just had a friend that had it done. He yeah. told me he said he had to take five thousand out of his yeah, pocket. Yeah, you can get it done cheaper, yeah. but if yeah. you want a reputable yeah. okay. surgeon, that's, which that's your eye. Yeah, yeah. it was it's kind of silly to go cheap. Yeah, like some of these people that do the. Some of them were given discounts. Well, it's our first. We're just started doing. Yeah, it. yeah no. if there's a guy in Greenfield that's also very good. Um, I just. Brandy, the, right. no, um, or not, it's right at the Cherry Room Plaza. And no, it's actually this oh, Frangie. Yes, Frangie. Yes. Oh, who's that, Ryu? Yes. I'm sorry? Ryu. Yeah, Ryu and Frangie. Yeah. Oh, but Frangie's I still. not with her anymore. Did they separate up? Yeah. Okay. But I just, I I know her, I knew her and I knew her reputation. Do they, oh, here, do they do eye tests too? The one yeah. with oh, yeah. Trust. They're you, a full you're service. You're looking for a new, oh, maybe I'll Yeah, they're, they're a full service. There's, there is a, um, another optician in there. Both there, but then they do glasses. There you go. Could you send me an email on that? Yeah, I don't have an email. You should. You should. You have everything else. else. No, we've been doing it all hard <laughs> mail and phone number. What is it? Carla C A R L A H three five five at gmail dot com. Okay. Yeah, I can send you. Oh, good. Thank you. Yeah. Good staff. I mean, good staff. The only problem, the only thing I will tell you, if you make an appointment there, make it the first thing in the morning. Oh, okay. Because, because they get behind. They get way behind. Okay. I mean, I've gone in for appointments and I've waited over an hour. Yeah, yeah. You know, because uh, this surgery sometimes takes a little longer, and this takes. Mm -hmm. So I have learned always make it like eight o'clock in the morning, eight thirty yeah. in the morning. Okay. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you could be there all day. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, it's good. Better hate. Yeah, um, I believe that the other optician is Dr. Brown, and he did my initial first exam, and he's really good also. Yeah. He's not a surgeon, but as an optician, he's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, the, the glasses that I lost, they had the, the really flimsy, really light. I didn't even know I had them on my face. Oh. And I was picking up a tree, and I think a branch hit him and flung him off, and I couldn't find him. And, um, but well, you I, didn't know you lost him. I didn't know I lost him either right away. So you don't know where to look. Well, kind of, but if the leaves are coming down, you know, and all that, I, just, I couldn't find him. I even went out at night. Well, you're going through these at a good pace. You're going through these at a good pace. No, because a squirrel probably took them off. You're wearing them someplace. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it was something shiny and, you mm -hmm. know, so. Yeah. But I even had that Paris Sir, no, how do you pronounce it? That coating that you put on the glasses. Those oh, the anti glare. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had that, and there was something else. It was the most expensive thing that you put on them. Yeah. It was peeling off. So this is their third bath for the only year one can. Uh huh. So it was like almost two hundred in that bath you could put on. It. And this is the carousel or something like that. I said, well, that's the one I had put on. And that was the most expensive one. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Of course, we don't want to deal with it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I've got these breather. You know, so it's too better far away that I can read something with them. <laughs> Figure that one out. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have contacts and readers. <laughs> yeah. Even with the, uh, if you go in and have the cataracts done, you maybe can see better. You don't need to have the near sight, but you still need readers. Yeah. And to me, that's a pain in the rear. Yeah. I started wearing contacts when. Okay, somebody said. Because I was always wearing the trails. Oh, yeah. Of course, we them all. And I had one day where we were going through and there was some low lying trees. And a spider got down behind my glasses. Oh, yeah. So it was You're like freaking out. <laughs> you know, your helmet's on, so it's holding your glasses tight. And the spider got between my glasses and my eye. And I was like, no, no more. I am not wearing glasses. I'll be half blind before I'll ever do this again. <laughs> yeah. Well, 
I tried the contacts more than anything. Mm. When was this supposed to? It was supposed to, and I lost at both ends. So I couldn't see distance. I couldn't see far away. Or yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was like, why are we doing it? Long perception. Well, because I was trying to do it so, so you could do painting. both. Um, right. And that, it didn't work. That tells me either you needed to swap eyes, mm -hmm. they didn't pick your proper dominant eye, or the prescription was just off. I don't know, but they were terrible. I mean, I I tried my first set when they did that. I couldn't I couldn't see anything. It was like snow. I'm like, I can't see anything. I think this is what <laughs> How are you doing over there, guys? Are we almost done? <laughs> yeah, I'm there. Don't you know, my name anymore. I know. <laughs> anyone want anyone Could anybody the read it? It's going to have like twenty minutes of random conversation that they're going like, to be listening to. Like, yeah. You know. <laughs> By the end, the signatures never looked the right. No, no. no. Russ and I have talked about signature stamps, haven't we, Russ? Yes, we have. <laughs> signatures don't mean anything anymore if you ask me. No, but you know, when they're signing so many of them, it's so much easier if they each had a stamp and could yeah. 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 Well, then you can just do it on, <laughs> on <laughs> email things, and it's like, this is my signature. It's like, really? You just, you just have two signatures, but yep. all they need, those are all our Oh, so yours were in there. Mine were in there. Okay. Yeah, the trust and mine. Yeah, okay. both of them. And just so you know, there's a stack that's bigger than that. It starts in the left. Like that for the next one. Oh, yeah. I'm just trying to save your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Considering the piles that we've had in the past. Yeah, well, it's not only that, it, it saves me on the, the copying, approving, oh, yes. and filing in between. Well, <laughs> Back one. Wasn't I supposed to get something in? You didn't get the stamp 24 okay. order? Yep. I know I sent it. Okay. Let me make another copy and now another one. Okay. What? Oh, you're going to do me another one? Yeah. Okay. I'll do you another. Okay. Because I, I basically just copy the application, stamp it approved, and pop it in the mail. We need here and need some help too. Why would we go? Let me make a note. Okay, great. Oh, you know what I wanna would like to have brought up even in front of the town. I guess senior citizens taxes at a level. Hmm? And that some towns do when you become a senior citizen, your taxes don't go up any higher. Is can't it, do that in Massachusetts? Oh, really? Yeah, can't but can't that. but can't the town vote to um. The town can vote to have a um, an yeah, exemption on the value exemption. of the property. Right. Well, can't we do that? Couldn't you put that in for um it? That's great for the senior citizens, but it's going to raise the taxes for everyone who's not there yet. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> but, That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> no, but usually senior citizens are on a fixed income, and these the way these are so going. So municipal home. employees. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just, you know what I mean. And and the way our taxes are going sky high. Oh, I know. It's like it almost should be some kind of a uh, exemption. Well, the next special town meeting in December is going to have that article about uh, senior work off. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Well, what's that? Seniors can um, do jobs for the can, town. Do jobs for the and town. And it'll take it off to their tax. Yeah. Oh. I thought it would always be. Uh, and I've got a big job. I don't a huge me. job coming up. And so it's 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 dirty. It's ugly. Okay. It's tedious. <laughs> it's dirty. Um, you don't have to clean toilets. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I have boxes of all our ancient vital records. They have all. They've been the previous clerks have taken our vital records and have only stored them in cardboard boxes. Oh yeah. So I mean, there's there's mold, there's mildew, there's water damage, there's yeah. smell, but they're oh, that's good. They're not going to make it much longer. 
So I. What do you a, store them in now? Oh, plastic. They're, they're just in cardboard boxes. So oh, but I'm, oh, I store them in plastic. But I'm ordering archival binders with archival sleeves that will protect them. Right. But so they have to go from the box, be scanned, put in archival sleeves. And it's just like, you know. Oh, so you'll get rid of the originals and have them. No, no, the, we'll keep the originals. Those will go in the archival sleeves. Oh. You just want to scan them before they go in. So oh, that way they never have to be touched again. And we have digital copies for <laughs> research. You know, hold it all. Yeah. I see, I see. Yeah, because right they're just, the they're, they're so water damaged and. So how did they get they're, That's our determiner. I, I have no idea. We can do it I mean, we did have the fire here. How many did And. It could be okay. water damage We're back that came from the fire. Next item on the agenda is program conversion. Yes. Well, we had said we'd talk about it, and we're within a few days of the tax work being done. And I'm more in favor, I think I am in favor without reservation now of program conversion. Um, the Patriot system did seem to be. I should call it Catalis or AP5. Uh, this is certainly the more affordable of the two that are recommended. I talked this over with Roy also when he was here, Roy Bishop. And he said, well, the vision is the Cadillac. He said, but it's very expensive. And he said, you're a small town. You don't have a vast variety of types of property. Maybe you don't need a Cadillac. Maybe you can do just fine with a Toyota. <laughs> but um, so we have the information from what is the Patriot called now? It's it's Catalis, C A T A L I S, A P 5. Catalis is the company that bought out Patriot. It's a mm -hmm. national company. Yep. So I guess what we need to do is vote on whether or not to go ahead with conversion. And then I would contact Jeff Leone for a current quote. And we you had a, you had another person that you were looking at too, right? Yeah, that was the one that QDS is developing, but it's nowhere near ready. Okay. It looks like it would be a simpler one than the Tyler, but maybe, it's still maybe too simple. It reminded me certainly of the old one we had with the state, which was wonderful, but. It's still at least several years away from availability, right? The Patriot program did seem to have um, readable, good readable uh, calculations. And you could see where the figures came from when they were totaling up the value of your house. Mm -hmm. It appears to be very uh, easy to use and they have said that they can convert the data over without trouble. We'll have to be still double checking every single account. Can I ask something? He's the chair. chair. Can I ask something? Yeah. All right. One <laughs> oh. question. No follow up. <laughs> I got one question. I thought I could have a discussion if you're here. Um, so if you're we're converting. You have to go through all that, our information before it gets converted, correct? Yes. Before and after. Before right. and so, after. So that's what the, the plan is to look. Yes. Okay. I just want to make sure that you're not just converting bad information no. to get bad information. No. Okay. That's a huge um, project. Just as a point of clarification. So the, the, the contenders at the moment are Patriot. Patriot and Vision. Catalyst. Catalyst. Pa ca ca that is Patriot. Catalyst is Patriot. That is Patriot. Yes. It's the. Uh, what, which was the Cadillac? Uh, the Vision program. Vision? Yes. It was yes. in my eyes. Yes. Yeah. So those are the two contenders because every time I come in here, you're at waiting for a call from Tyler about yes. some problem. Oh, it's true. Yeah. And it's been yesterday, I had a three hour conversation with them trying to figure out yep. Yep. why. A certain query. The billing program was putting care of signs instead of the second owner. Instead of a second owner's okay. name. So it's pretty clear that given all the headaches you've had all year round with this new time, yes. it's time for something else. Absolutely. And, and and it has already passed town meeting the funds needed the funds. for yeah. the Catalyst program. 
Down not for vision, level. because was vision is way more expensive. Was the boat specifically for Turkey Palace? No, no, right. no. It, it was it simply just a sum of money. It, it was a sum of money. money that is a sufficient amount of money for Catalis and Lee's additional hours, my mm -hmm. additional hours for converting. Sure. Um, is it um, possible for me to see some kind of demonstration? Absolutely. Because I was looking at something you online. Was that? Was that? The, that might have been. Was that Patriot? I don't know. Or Catalis? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. Um, but I can show you the everything we have in print too. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. That'd be great. I mean, vision is good, but isn't it more than double the price? Oh, yes. Yeah. And, and the you'd annual, have to, you'd have the to annual go to town meeting and ask for more. Fee, right? The annual maintenance fee is yeah. crippling. Like you would send me a, yeah. a link to so. a kind of promotional demo. Yes. That um, would be contest. that would be it. But right. the print actually, the, I think what it was, it was, it was some kind of workshop that they had recorded. And yes. And we're making it available. Yeah, the printed material is better or is supplements that, I would say. That'd be great if you could do that. Sure. I'd like to, and I'll probably go back to that workshop then and reread mm -hmm. and review that. Okay. Have you talked to anybody that since it was so address the chair? Oh, sorry. Chair. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> have has any discussions since with other towns that have it? Is there any been any problems since it's been bought out? Patriot was bought out. They're gradually upgrading to the AP5. Uh, some went into Patriot with the old program, mm. and they're gradually being upgraded to the AP5. What's the AP5? That's the new version. It's like the, it's like the Talus. Yeah, all software's update, software updates. Yeah. So oh, okay. Like the, okay. It's like the most recent version of the software. Right. Okay. So and from now on, it'll be called Catalus, whatever. But you haven't heard of any towns having. Uh... No. No, I think the last person you talked to said that they're they're. Changeover went very smoothly. Oh, good. Yes, the oh, good. biggest difficulty was getting the data away from Tyler. <laughs> oh, there's, there's only there's only there's less than thirty. Yes. Yeah, there. yeah, but what yeah. what Lee had pointed out, what we have to worry about with Tyler is that once we cancel them, they will not speak to you. Well, no, we can't get access to anything that we had. So we have to run the two programs for a year. We're going to have to run them side by side for a little while. Like we did with sure. the camera. Yes. But Lee exactly. can still access the camera, the old camera to get can, yes. But Tyler, because it's a won't, um, we won't be able to do that in future. It's a web based we'll program. Have, we have you know, we log into their system through the web. They have the ability to shut our logins out. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. And they're that petty. Um I'm sorry to, to interrupt, but um I'm trying to get the conversation focused. If I could, so I can understand. Sure, uh, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> um, is there anything else that we need to discuss today about? Well, I think we need to vote whether we want to change, yes. not necessarily who we want to change to. Is that what we okay. want? Okay. Or, or do, or we, do we want to vote to change? And there's only the two Patriots. options, and one is fiscally. That has not, not happened previously feasible. before the town meeting vote. I have been cautious. I had been trying to see if. By studying more, by getting you know more training from them and so forth, if the if it was user problems, sure. how much of it was user Operate problems? Yeah. Yes, exactly. And I'm convinced now that it's sure there's a little bit of that, but boy, most of it's the the program that was initially made for other parts of the country and to do other things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've run into software like that where it's started out with one function, had things scanned onto it, and then doesn't work so elegantly anymore. Yes. Um, so are you looking, you're, it sounds like you're saying based on all the problems you've had with Tyler in the months that I've been around anyway, that you you are convinced that that it, we need to switch to something else. Yes, okay. especially uh, because there are a number of towns in the area who now use the Patriot slash Catalyst. Mm -hmm. And in looking for someone to come in and uh, eventually take my place, mm -hmm. That would be a benefit to have a program that's more readily known and has good local support mm -hmm. from other towns. Mm -hmm. okay. And I think that. some while ago you were telling me that there that just aren't a lot of candidates for alternative software. It's just that's Patriot right. and, and Vision. The, uh, the Cadillac. Yeah, yeah. But the, okay. ca the Cadillac is um, not something this town's going to. I remember looking it's at that really program from years, years ago when it was. It's, it's, well, Patriot, I know, program. the Patriot company, at least, not necessarily this iteration of their software, 
has has had a very long standing yes. reputation yeah. in the county for doing uh, tax work, for yes. municipal tax work. So yes. they, they certainly have a long history. They do. Um, uh, in my experience. And they know Massachusetts assessing. Well, they've been doing, yeah, they've been doing That's this it. stuff for years, right. for decades. In with Tyler, they don't, I don't know how well they knew Massachusetts assessing. The techs with whom we speak <laughs> with problems are terrific. They try hard to understand, but they are not assessors. They have no assessors training. And so there's a certain translation going on there in order to determine what needs to be searched out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, how about this? How about we ratify, if we haven't already voted as a board, to change software vendors? Mm -hmm. Do that tonight. Yeah. Um, and, and then I'd like to get the paperwork you have mm -hmm. from uh, the Patriot people and the link to their video, which I may already have somewhere. So I can kind of review that again. Mm -hmm. um, and then maybe at the subsequent meeting, yeah. we can specifically vote about pursuing, uh, presumably pursuing the, the Patriot people. I was going to say, I don't think, unfortunately, I don't think going even considering vision is a thing because we'd have to go back to town meeting, ask for. I got that. Like yeah. double the I funds. That. And yeah. um, does that make sense? That work with the timetable that presumably yes. we would have to follow because I presume this yes. is the kind of thing you, you want to the do idea. fairly quickly before you end no. up in the it end of the tax cycle again. Done by June 1st, just about. Right. That means a major hustle, but right. now in order to get the figures. But, but it's going to be that way every year, right? So yeah. making yeah. a decision now is, is the best time. Right. We're at the starting line, so this will be yes, an informed decision. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I move that we we vote today to that, to decide to change software vendors, um, uh, and that next week after I've had it, or uh, next Two meeting, weeks, yeah, when I've had a chance to review the data, um, that we vote on whether or what vendor we want to use, so that we can be in this process. Look at second, 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 all in favor, all right, aye. aye. That's lickety split if you're taking in. <laughs> is there hyphens between lickety and split? I don't know. Is it lick to... hyphen, itty it's hyphen, no, no, split? No, no, just, just probably hyphen. Let, let me word. Google it. Let's <laughs> go. Okay. okay. Update on FY22 max submission. All right. Uh, the figures went in. They yeah, were. Type 22. And 24, no. 24. 24. Yes. <laughs> They were approved by the state and are now in the process of being, uh, the extract has been sent to QDS for billing and they're in the process of putting the data into their program for the billing and mailing the bills. I take it that you were able to reach Tyler on Monday and yes. fix what needed fixing yes, again? Yes, pretty much. Okay. Yeah, but there's always a certain amount of, uh, they have to take the data and, and organize it into whatever engine they have. I have nothing to do with that, thank goodness. So it's out of our hands basically now and, and pretty much. You have to okay. do pretty much. What what is the much? Well, they always ask me to go over the final figures that they come up with. That's For example, do all of our personal property oh. accounts add up to the same amount that all of theirs do once they have a rating billing, that kind of thing. So some of the big the big totals and yes. Yeah, sort of spot checking essentially. Right. Right. And the different categories, do we have the same amount billable in single family residences and in properties that are a combination of uh, industrial and residential? And you know, do we have the same figures in each category? Yeah. 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 Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And I believe we've done seven, eight, nine, and 10. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other business? Well, I would like to take a minute to remember our. Former assessor and colleague Lee Topman. Oh yes. Yes. Oh, he happened? served. Lee passed away. He passed away last week. Oh, I, I didn't know that. Yes, yeah, so we could go Monday. Gosh. Age ninety-two. Yeah. yeah. He served on the board for just about twenty years. Mm -hmm. And contributed in the last conversion. That man contributed hundreds of hours. Mm -hmm. Sitting there at the desk while I was on the computer. And we were inputting all the data from one system into another. It had to be hand done. Mm -hmm. And then we go over each one. And he was always pleasant to work with. 
always wonderful with people and explaining things carefully. Learned so much from him. He and your dad, <laughs> they were, we were the team. <laughs> and uh, it's just a delight to have been able to work with him. And he was an important part of our team. And as I said the other day, his family over the generations has added so much to Conway and to Conway government by their participation in everything from a select board to sports coach to assessors. Yep. <coughs> yeah, that was my other business. Okay. Public comments. Was there anybody on? Nope. I'm They're public. the only public here. <laughs> <laughs> Are you do, done commenting? Do you I have, have a, a comment? Actually, actually I, I do. I, I just would like Lee to look over this. Um, it's on the shed that's going to be on the 24th. It's on your property card. On the property card. Okay, yeah. let me. Instead of yeah, okay, I'll take a copy of it too. Okay, so that I don't keep yours. Yeah, mm -hmm. the, um, the two sheds on the back of the barn. Yeah. Oh. So does that mean you'd have to put a a bit do an abatement if if you found something that wasn't there? Well, the sheds weren't. Yeah, the sheds no. weren't calculated in twenty twenty three. No, but, but if but they're on 2024, 2024, right? Yeah, 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 because, yeah, because they're, they've already been calculated. Yeah, and done. you know what sheds were on the back there, and they're connected, and one has a door, yeah. the door on it, and the other one is open, and it's almost three times as much because it has a door on it. Yeah, so thank you. Just wondering how that. Value in about yeah so um, what we we'll want that to the list to look into yep yep okay okay uh, okay. 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 we'll adjourn uh you want a motion to adjourn I want to move the adjourn <laughs> <laughs> second yeah, second all in favor okay. uh, aye okay. Next meeting is the 18th. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yes, before then we'll have some warrants to sign, but we don't need to vote to sign them. Okay. So warrants yeah. for the bills. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For what? The bills going out, the tax bills, you know. Yeah. When they're ready, we'll call yeah. them. Soccer. Okay. Okay, so we're adjourned? Yep. Yeah. We're adjourned. We did.